Welcome back guys to another episode brought to you by Games Glitches. In today's episode we're just gonna take a look at Anthem and its starting days for the release and we're going to clean up some misconceptions or try at least try to clean up some misconceptions created by other YouTubers. If you enjoyed this episode remember to click like and subscribe it really helps out the channel grow. So without any further ado let's jump into it. Let's start with news first. First things first, if you have Origin Premiere, you could already preload Anthem today at 1 p.m. Eastern Time and could already start playing tomorrow by 5.30 p.m. Also, the reason why I'm making this video is because it seems to be a lot of misconception about the Anthem purchase program going around. Many channels jumped on this hate wagon about their purchase program at EA. One of such channels is The Quartering. Big fan of his channel and I support him 99% of the way. Well, I guess this is just that 1% that I don't agree with him, you know, can't agree with everyone 100% of the time because, well, simply that's not how human beings are made. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not a fan of EA also and I'm sure that I will regret defending them. But somebody gotta play the, you know, the devil's advocate, so to speak. So I have to disagree with the quartering respectfully and say that the purchase system on Anthem isn't complicated at all. Let me just show you how simple and how easy it is to understand. Now, here's the image, well, that the quartering, you know, basically trolled with. Right here, as you said, that this is somewhat complicated and hard to understand, but I don't think it is. Demo X is everyone. Not that complicated. Then you have let's see standard pre-order uh, you know for pc ps4 xbox one they all release on february 22nd uh legion dawn pre-order that's the collector's edition also february 22nd so far no problem ea access for xbox one as you can see here can play for the first 10 hours for free and Origin X's Basic can play for 10 hours for free because they're simply trying to promote the game. So unless you have Xbox One EA X's or Origin Basic X's, you don't really gotta even worry about this whatsoever. And you could just simply try the game out for free for 10 hours because they're trying to promote the game through as many channels as possible. Now, if you haven't noticed that they've been trying to promote Origin Premiere really, really heavily on well, Origin, simply because they want to have a more subscription-based people. And this is why they're allowing you again to play the demo and giving you the early access on February 15th or 14th. You know, because their system says February 14th, this says February 15th. I guess it's depending on a time zone. In one area, it's the 14th. In the other area, it's already the 15th, you know, because time timestamps are different. Now, it should be obvious that with Origin Premiere that they're trying to push Premiere as much as possible because, you know, that $15 a month, $10 a month thing is almost dead. But it's not really. If you take a look at Netflix, if you take a look at Amazon Prime, they pretty much do the same thing. You know, when you watch a movie on Netflix, it's not like you own that movie, you can't download it, you don't get to keep that movie. The movie is still owned by by their own the copyright company whoever copyright that movie or that show you just get the right to watch it and if you have no problems with netflix then there should be a no problems with this considering that First of all, with Origin Premiere, for $15 a month, you get the collector's edition of Anthem, which is $80 plus tax, comes out to be $88.26 or something it was when I clicked to check it out. Let's round that off to $90. That is uh, six months of you playing this game and having full access. Let's face it, guys. A lot of us who have played Fallout 76 already knew the game was a piece of shit within the first 10 hours of us playing it. Within the first week and none of us were able to get refunds and a lot of people purchased the $60 and some people even went as far as getting the tricentennial edition which was $300 you know and all of that and how screwed were they instead of having a chance paying $15 and checking out the game and going yeah good luck Bethesda with that see you guys in hell you know and 
walk away from the game rather than losing a full-blown $60 and now running around in a game that's pretty much dead. Second of all, my dear friend, you refer to them as whale poaching or customer poaching, the way you put it. A lot of people will jump into Origin Premiere simply to try out Anthem, just to see what it is. If Anthem ends up being a total fail and a total flop, which there still could be a possibility, I'm not defending the game, EA could definitely fuck up 100%, but, but if it doesn't, it just got a buttload of subscribers. And if it did fuck up, a lot of people just ended up saving themselves a lot of money trying the game and completely walking away from it, only losing $15 for that month, which is a lot better deal than again we got with Fallout 76. The Origin Premiere also includes all of the Titanfall games and all of the Battlefield games. So, even let's say you paid for that one month of Anthem and you completely hated Anthem and you want in you feel like you lost $15 in a way, you could easily hit up one of the many games that they have for that one month, go through them all, try them all out, and save yourself a bunch of money. Considering the fact that Origin Premiere allows you almost uh, access to almost every game on Origin for just simply $15 for that whole month. So knock yourself out, play as much as you want, check them all out, you know, go laugh at Battlefield 5, go laugh at Battlefield 1 and all of those failures, you know, and and then you could just simply cancel your subscription and move on. And in the end, you ended up trying out Anthem and trying out many other things that they have on their platform for only simply $15. Even if you hated Anthem, you only walk lost $15. Look how Fallout 76 ended up. Look how many of the other games recently ended up. I would love to have a choice to try out a game for $15, see how shitty it is, and then walk away from it instead of paying 60 to 90 plus dollars for it. Honestly, I mean, who would? And if you're going to make an argument that, hey, you're giving EA money, you're giving EA money either way by purchasing the game at full price at $60. Now, if you don't like it, they don't care. If you hate the game, they don't care at all why simple you paid 60 to 90 dollars for collector's edition and they don't give a fuck what you're going to do what you say if next month you're not satisfied with anthem no content no nothing you cancel your sub they're losing money they just lost already $45 of a regular edition because you only subbed for one month. You stayed with them for two months, they still losing money. You have to stay with them for full six months for them to st only first break even on a full game. Yes, maybe down the line they'll definitely stop making content like they all do. Let's face the facts. I'm not defending none of them. But f at the current moment, because of how they're promoting Origin Premiere, how they're pushing it out there for everyone to try to subscribe and pushing Anthem behind it and trying to advertise that as much as possible they're going to want to keep their subscribers as long as possible you know to keep them engaged with you as long as possible for one simple reason because you can just cancel your subscription and be like i'm done screw you guys I'm out of here and be over with that. So now they actually, it's more pressure on them by constantly forcing them to create more content for you just so you stay subscribed. Kind of in a way like World of Warcraft did. Or for example, Netflix does. If Netflix stops coming out with any new shows and doesn't upload any new shows and y you know, months after months after months after months, nothing changes on Netflix, are you really gonna continue being subscribed to Netflix? After you have done watching every show, very unlikely unless you like re-watching the same stuff over and over and over. Most people are subscribed to Netflix for the new stuff, for the easy accessibility for the stuff that there is on it, but eventually people still want to see new shows, new movies, new stuff to appearing on Netflix, and that's what they Netflix does. Same principle is going to be here. EA is going to be forced to simply create more content for the users. Why? Because otherwise people will just unsubscribe. In the end, it kind of boils down to two types of people. Are you a game jumper like me, jumping between games constantly for because you quickly get bored or for YouTube reasons or for whatever? Or do you like to stick to the same game for a very, very, very long time? 
But then again, even if you do enjoy sticking to the same game for a very, very long time, you can still invest that $15, see if the game is worth it, and then buy it for the full price if you really, really want to keep it and don't want to pay the subscription fee. You still end up somewhat winning simply because at least you get to try out the game, get your feet wet, it's, uh, so to speak, you know, and then see the whole and get the basically the game to keep. Otherwise, you could just simply be out of 60 to 90 dollars if you simply don't like the game and then there's nothing you can do about it. Also, if you agree or disagree with what I said, feel free to leave a comment below and we can continue the conversation there without a problem, you know, in respectful manner that is. If you enjoyed this nice little rant video, I would really appreciate it guys if you hit that like button, it really helps out the channel grow. You know, if you enjoy what I do, feel free to subscribe because I'm going to be bringing lots of the Division 2 and Anthem videos, both their glitches and how to plays and bunch of other content related to them. Thank you all again for watching and have a wonderful Valentine's Day.